Okay, this is the full budgeting question from 2015. So it's a part B, so it's a fairly short question. Start by laying out the blank document. So we have two formulas we need to use. If we want to separate our costs, we need to use the total cost, is variable cost times quantity, plus fixed cost. First, we'll use the variable cost is the change in cost divided by the change in quantity. That's how we're going to find out what our variable cost is. So, for example, down here I'm going to have a table where I'll have my variable cost per unit and my fixed cost per unit, or fixed cost in total, and then I'll have to work it out for a particular percentage of activity at some stage. So if I want to work out my variable cost per unit for direct materials, I'm assuming the direct materials is completely uh, variable uh, because it's direct. If something that goes into every product that's made, there shouldn't be a fixed element to it, and there usually isn't any of these questions. So the way we do it, we're going to look at how the cost changes, and we'll divide that by the change in quantity. So if I look at how the cost changes from 315 to 3A2000 as a result of a change in quantity of 4,500. So what I'll put into my formula here is I'll have 3A2500. Uh, take away 315. And I'll divide that by the difference in quantity of 4,500. Uh, direct labor, um, I'll do the same thing. So it goes from 231 to 280 as a result of an increase of 4,500. So uh, 280,500. Uh, I'll take away from that the 231. I'll divide that by 4,500. So that's how I'd find the variable cost, and obviously there's no fixed cost involved in those two. So Looking at the production overheads, I'm going to do the same thing. So first I'll find my variable cost. So I'll the same levels of production. I have 126,960. And I'll take away from that uh, 106,800. And divide that by 4,500. So that's the variable cost. So to find the fixed cost, I'll use the formula up above. Okay, so if I rearrange this, this formula that I have here a little bit, if I want the fixed cost only, fixed cost is going to be, if I bring this variable cost times quantity over the other side of the equal sign and make it a minus, I get my total cost minus variable cost uh, times quantity. So um, fixed cost, so uh, let's see, my total cost I'm just going to choose at any level of production. So, for example, if I choose at 70%, uh, so that's 21,000 units. So the total cost is 106,800. So the total cost is 106,800. I take away from that the variable cost uh, times quantity. So the variable cost uh, I've already worked out is 448. I'll multiply that by the quantity, so the quantity is 21,000. So that's my fixed cost for production. So for the other overheads, I'll again have my variable cost, and I'll use the same formula for fixed cost, so variable cost for other overheads. So again, looking at how it changes from there to there, other overheads goes from 71.8 to 86.200, so variable cost is 86.200 minus 71,800. I divide that by 4,500. It's 3.2. So the fixed cost is going to be um, at, if I use 70% again, uh, 71,800 minus, so my variable cost is 3.2 times the 21,000 units. So that gives me 4,600. So I'll put those numbers in there. So the 4.48 is there. And I'll put my 3.2 down there. And the fixed cost is going to be 0.2770 for that one and 4,600 for that one. And administration cost has no variable element in it because it never changes. It's 35,000 all the time. So. When I'm doing my marginal costing statement later on, I'm going to have to have sales, take away all my variable costs, and that gives me a thing called contribution. And then I'll take away my fixed costs, and that gives me all my profit. So the fixed costs, well, I have them in front of me now. So my production overheads fixed costs is that. 
my uh, other overhead is the 4.6 and my administration is 35. So I'll add those together. Okay, so uh, one of the things I'm asked to do is I'm asked at here down here to prepare flexible budget for 90% activity. So I'm using the same table I had already. So I'm just going to put 90% uh, activity. Okay, so my direct materials. Now I, I need to be able to do this, I need to be able to multiply by variable cost per unit by the number of units. So I need to find out how many units will I make at 90%. So if I choose here, for example, at 70%, uh, I make 21,000 units. So if I divide 21 by 70, I get 1%, and then I multiply by 90. So I'm just put that there just so we, we know what I'm talking about. So 21,000, if I divide that by um, 70%, that gives me 1%. Um, so, and if I then multiply that by 90, that will give me 90%. Still there, so I know what I'm talking about. So uh, that means so uh, 21,000 uh, divided by 70 and then multiplied by 90. So 27,000. Is that right? Is that, is that 27? It's 270. It's not 27. I have an extra zero. I have an extra zero. So 27,000 units. So my materials is going to be the 15 percent per unit times uh, 27,000. My direct labor is going to be the variable cost per unit times 27,000. My production overheads is going to be 448 times 27,000 and my other overheads is 3.2 times 27,000. That administration um, is going to be 35 only. Uh, now all I put in here for these are the variable costs. So I need to add into my formula the fixed costs as well. So I need to add in, if I just change this formula, uh, let's see, plus um, this number here. Let's make sure that I just put a bracket in so that you can see what I've been trying to do here. So I'll do my variable cost bit first. And then I'll do my fixed cost bit. I'll do the same thing for my other overheads. So this is my variable cost. And then I'm going to add to that my fixed cost, which is 4,600. So when I add these together, that will give me the total cost at 90%. Now this total cost has to obviously be divided between um, the uh, fixed and variable when I'm doing a marginal cost and statement. So I've already put these three numbers in here for variable cost and I need to work out my, uh, sorry they're my fixed costs, I need to work out my variable cost here. So the materials, well that's easy enough because the total figure here for materials that had no fixed element so that's only variable. I have the same thing for labour so that's variable. So the production overheads I'll do what I did a minute ago. So 448 times 27,000. And then for other overheads, I have 3.2 times 27,000. Okay. The one last thing that I have to do before I can work out my profit is I have to work out my sales figure. So it says here profit is budgeted to be 20% of sales. So if I have cost plus profit, sales so if if the profit is 20% of sales uh, so I'm just put the 20% symbol so if sales is 100% so that means the cost must be 80% so that means this number here is the cost so if I divide that by 80 and multiply by 100 that's going to give me my sales so divide this cost because uh, this is total cost So divide my total cost by 80, that gives me 1%, and plug 100, and that gives me my sales here. Like that, um, divided by 80, and then multiply by 100. So there's my sales. So I need to just add up all of my variable costs. Uh, 
and if I take my variable cost away from my sales, that gives me my contribution. And then I have my fixed costs, so I'm going to take those fixed costs away from the contribution, and that gives me my profit. Okay, I hope that makes a bit of sense to you.